You're listening to The Startup with Monique LeRae, only on L.A. Talk Radio. Wow, how's it going, Los Angeles? This is The Startup with Monique LeRae, and I'm Monique LeRae. I am back in the home studio live for the first time in over a month. You guys, I have been traveling wrapping up the pandemic film, and I'm so excited to be home um, here to speak with you. I'm leaning over a little bit because I don't want the glare of the uh, the circle light, ring light to uh, blind you guys. So that's why I'm kind of hunched over. But I wanted to just say hi, and I'm back. And listen, we have one more show, and then we're gone for the summer. Can you believe it? It's already the summer. I hope everyone had a safe uh, 4th of July and a wonderful Juneteenth and all those things. I have a power pack show today. Of course, when I get back into town, we want to catch up with as many uh, live guests as we can. Uh, want to do on the top of the show, um, just a shout out to everyone that was supportive of these two films. The pandemic film was the international version. I really pushed, pushed, pushed. And we wound up going to 32 plus countries. And I say 32 plus because I think I'm off by one. Um, I included my personal count in that. So um, thank you for all your support and 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 everybody who was a part of this endeavor. Um, it was really ambitious. Um, I'm quite exhausted, to be honest, but I'll bounce back. I'm home for the summer, and I really don't want to see too many airplanes for a while, to be honest. <laughs> and I love airplanes, but um, yeah, just wanted to give a shout out to our sponsors, Michael Solberg Family Wines. Thank you so much for your undying support and love and partnership and friendship over there with Leah Solberg, the daughter. Um, she's amazing and her wines are affordable. So go to www.michaelsolbergfamilywines.com. Check them out and they chill really well over a nice barbecue in the summer or anything you've got going. Um, and thank you so much to La Costa del Camino here in Laguna Beach, California. Shout out to the team there. We had a successful drag brunch for Pride Month. I literally touched down on Friday, the 24th of June and we did our thing on the 26th. So thank you so much for everyone there. Shout out to Michaela and Felton over there at La Casa del Camino. And of course, our fabulous drag queen, Amber, the Amber Crane, okay? Um, we're gonna be doing another one. As we're gonna call it Halloween's a Drag. So it'll be a Halloween contest, uh, costume contest and a drag show. And that will be on October 9th, okay? Guys, you can go to eventbrite.com and get your tickets and uh, join us at La Casa del Camino's Commodore restaurant on, um, and it'll be a brunch, bottomless mimosas, okay? Um, also, I wanna give a shout out to the Cannabis Conference. Last year, you guys hooked me up. I was in Las Vegas with you. I still have that video I'm gonna post as like a flashback video. Um, I've just been really swamped with these two films. So I wanted to give them a shout out. So shout out to the Cannabis Conference. I know they probably just had one this last month or coming up. Um, I'll maybe try to get there next year with you guys. So, um, all right. With all that being said, I'd like to bring in my first guest, Lori. Oh, my gosh. Lori from Pearl Edward Beach. Lori, how are you doing today? I am great, Monique. Welcome home. Thank you. <laughs> yes, it's really good to see Laguna Beach and your smiling face. Why don't you introduce yourself? Tell everybody about your brand. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Lori Nahowski. I'm living in Laguna Beach. I started my company during COVID of uh, Mar uh, I'm sorry, June of 2020. Um, basically, I started doing textile patterns and artwork um, a year prior. Um, it was right after I lost my father to a rare form of cancer. And oh. he gave me the gift. He gave me a gift of art. I was never an artist before. And he brought color back into my life after he passed. Wow. And um, I was really, really thankful for the gift. And I did a lot of artwork in a short period of time. And then I took this marvelous trip um, when I started feeling better after my grieving process with him to mm -hmm. St. Bart's. And it's a fabulous island. If you haven't been, you need to go. Um, oh. But I ended up going to this adorable little boutique and I met Lorna and uh, Lorna and I were talking about healing and how I was doing artwork and she asked me to show it to her and she suggested that I put my artwork onto canvas or onto textiles. So because of that one little vacation and that one little conversation, 
I started my beach umbrella company, Pearl Edward Beach. There it is. Now, this is amazing because, uh, first of all, I'm so um, with you in understanding about grieving. I lost my aunt earlier this year, a couple, few days before my birthday, actually. And so, so my, um, my, my love and condolences go to you for your father. Um, you. Yeah, I mean, it, it's kind of interesting how he sent you that, that gift afterwards and you were able to just kind of follow your heart. Because, yeah. you know, I'm learning, I, I don't know if you listen to Abraham Hicks, but I do. I'm learning that when you totally do. I think we touched yeah. on that when we first met. Yeah, yeah. it's funny because you'll get that idea or that she calls it inspired action. Yes. And it's like, I don't know why, but right now I just want to sit here and paint this desk, but I've got to go to the craft store and I've got to, <laughs> and, and I don't want to think about anything else but going to the craft store. And it's just something you can't get it passed unless you do. Mm -hmm. And that inspired action leads to where you're supposed to be or someone you're supposed to meet to help you with what you're trying to do, I guess. Right. I mean, absolutely. Absolutely. Of and, all and the islands. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and fast forward two and a half years or uh, two years later, uh, Lorna opened up her own boutique on St. Bart's and carries my beach umbrellas in St. Bart's what? for me. Yeah. And then we wow. also uh, run e-commerce and now I'm at the Dana Point Farmer's Market as well on Saturdays. So nice. um, yeah, <laughs> we're on Instagram under Pearl Edward Beach, all one word, as well as www.pearledwardbeach.com. And you can see how we're creatively um, exploring our textiles. Um, we've come up with some hair ties, which we're calling it's a vibe hair tie because it is. I'm not wearing one right now, but I've been wearing them my daughter's been wearing them and it's and it's so fun and colorful so that's what our I brand is about having fun in the sun i love that and you're in the right town for sure you know yeah. um tell me about um your the name of the brand is it your mo father mother and father's name put together so i consider my daughter to be my pearl her name is genevieve but i always yeah. uh, ever since i saw the movie uh pride and prejudice no uh, yeah, Pride and Prejudice. When yeah, that's she awesome. says you can't, she, I want you to call me my pearl on Sundays. I always took Aww. that. Number. So my daughter is my pearl, and my father's name was Edward. And then now we're at the beach all the time. So it just I kind love of sense. Yeah. So Lori, tell us how you moved your your brand along. It looks like it's about two and it's about a little over two years old now. You said you launched it in COVID. And a lot of yeah. people took that time to kind of go inward and do creative things like yourself. Yes. So how did you take it from the idea concept on vacation to where you are now, um, you know, e-commerce at the, the, mar the flea market um, and now in a store on that island? Yeah, we um, it just kind of evolved organically. Um, I, I have I've, I've tried lots of avenues getting into big department stores, working with buyers. Um, it's an odd size product. So a lot of people, um, you know, even going after the market of drop shipment that I can run it right out of my house. Um, it's a newer concept. It's a newer product. Um, Tommy Bahamas, even though I, you know, don't like to say the word, but he's, that, he's, that every, he's Bahamas, everywhere. He give us a sponsorship. We never know. Yeah, right. <laughs> he's everywhere. So I'm kind of like, I call our brand Island Chic. So we're the mm -hmm. Island Chic Beach Umbrella. And um, so it's just taking, um, it's taken a while for me to learn that avenue of, um, I'm more of the artist, the creator um, of the product and products. Okay. So um, just kind of exploring yeah. how to move it along. So it's been a learning process for myself. Um, but just talking and communicating with as many people as I can about my product. And if they're interested in picking it up, I'd love to work with, with them, with you out there. Um, if you're running a cute boutique anywhere in the United States, we can um, ship for you for free and, or even do drop shipment. So it's just getting, getting the brand out there, getting um, exposure. Uh, and I've just been a one man show plus balancing with my nine year old through COVID. So just kind of, word of mouth however um that that process is gone we're we're slow moving but we're we're moving forward we might be the well, tortoise be the tortoise in the hair but we're still moving yes there is something to be said about that moving forward being just being consistent i mm -hmm. kind of had that about this brand with the startup with monique Ray. um mm -hmm. you know i could go get rid of space and really you know max it out 
right now I just want to keep it, you know, um, minimal um, mm -hmm. and consistent and, mm -hmm. you know, quality and bring some great guests on and it, it's going to get better and better, but you know, you've got to yeah. just do what you can do and be, you know, do what you could do and be consistent at it. And it looks yeah. like you were able to do that. Mm -hmm. I have a prediction for you, Lori. I feel like, you know, on the 4th of July, I was at Hotel Laguna. Shout out to Hotel Laguna. I'm not Love usually there. Hotel Laguna. Love. Yes. It was my third time there ever. Maybe my fourth time ever. But I hadn't been there in a while. And they did the revamp. And it looks amazing. And I sat outside. And I looked around. And I said, oh, my God. It's like South Beach here. Uh -huh. I have never seen Laguna look like that before. And I love South Beach. I love Laguna, you know, for different reasons. So yes. it felt like a combo to me. Mm -hmm. And all I saw was umbrellas. And I'm yes. like, L Lori's brand has got to get on the beach with these with these hotels on the yeah. beach. Yeah. So, you know, let's put it out there, guys. <laughs> let's put it out there. We have we have plenty of stock available. We are ready to put some and make that beach look artsy. And boho okay, so, chic. And boho chic. Lori, why don't you grab that umbrella you've got behind you and okay. just show it if you can. Bring it up to the screen and let's check her out. Let's check um this Pearl Edwards Beach umbrella. So this one's called the Flamand. So if you look on the website, you'll also see it photographed in St. Bart's and the and the and the ocean is so beautiful. Um, but yes. it has this vibe, and it's like the artwork is orange and red and pink and white, and then it has the beautiful fringe. And what's wow. nice is it's multi-purpose. You can use it um, at the beach or it fits in a standard um, umbrella stand on your patio. So wow. it's not just the beach umbrella. It can be used at your home as well, which is lovely. Because if that you look lovely. for a pop of color and you live in a smaller place or even have a big patio and need a few, you could put them out and decorate with different colors. Or if okay. you had a little patio, um, it would just bring a little pop of life to your patio as well. I am definitely going to be grabbing one of those umbrellas from my backyard because I have an umbrella there. And I think it's time to put a little Pearl Edward Beach back here. I think Thank it's going to be cute. You. Thank you. Yes, and we're going to check. 50 SPF as well, which is great. See, say that again because I need the viewers to hear this and the listeners. The canvas is 50 SPF. So when you're under it, I sit under mine all day long and I don't wear sunblock. But I mean, I, I do recommend you do wear sunblock, but yeah. um, I enjoy sitting out reading a book. I'm always under one, even on my personal patio here in Laguna Beach, whether I'm meditating or reading a book, I, I am always under one. And I enjoy it and i just um i think they're beautiful all the neighbors love them you can see us coming it's um it's just happy it's a happy brand it is a happy brand you know what Lori? i'm loving this thank you for bringing more color to the world and in a very crazy tumultuous time you know there's a lot going on in the world um i think being creative and making your space beautiful and the spf element we have a, a brand that we work with called skin view and uh, -huh. uh they are doing an app where that you can scan a mole or a spot to see wow. if you need to follow up on it. So they're gonna help save lives. And it sounds like your umbrella is too. I mean, while in style. Yes, <laughs> it is marvelous. I'm so happy to be a part of it and just um enjoying the fun in the sun. You guys, um follow Lori at Pearl Edward Beach. Why don't you give everybody your socials and your website one more time for ordering and for following you and following your content. Thank you. Um, on Instagram, all one word, Pearl Edward Beach, and then on www.pearledwardbeach.com. Fabulous, Lori. We've got a lot to talk about. We've got some things in the works. We'll, we'll be spilling the tea later on as we get closer to that. And, you know, remember when we first met? Yes. Um, I, I gave you a little idea. Um, I think you, I think you might remember, um, where it would come in a different size for different events. Do you know what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah, definitely. So I hope you explore that because I think that that could be awesome too. So, yeah, so much fun. So much too fun. much fun. Lori, yeah. thank you for being with us. I have to run to the next guest. Have a good day. Thank you so much for having me, Monique. It's been marvelous. Oh, my, my pleasure. Thank you, Lori. Mwah. <laughs> All right, guys, that was Lori from Pearl Edward Beach. Um, so check her out. Get an umbrella for the sun. 
I don't know the last time I've ever had an umbrella with SPF block 50 in it. So I guess that that's a two for one right there. All right. Um, I have two amazing guests. The next two guests, um, they're coming up. So I guess Sam's going to let me know. Oh, I guess they're here. All right. Well, the first guest we've got here is um, Blue Diamond Transporting Service and Dr. Marty K. Casey from Ungun Institute. How's it going, ladies? <laughs> it is going well. Hi, Monique. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Marty. <laughs> it's always so awesome to see you. You too, my love. How's everything going? Um, we're gonna bring uh so just to tell everybody, Dr. Marty K. Casey is from Ungun Institute, and one of her friends and partners is with the Blue Diamond Trucking Service, Erica Arnett, and she'll be joining us again once she uh signs back on. Dr. Marty, in case people have not seen my show and don't know who you are, please go ahead and introduce yourself and tell people who you are. Wow. Well, thank you. My name is Dr. Marty K. Casey. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri, and uh, I started in a company called Ungun Institute, LLC, due to the fact of what happened in my backyard, if you will, with Ferguson, Missouri. So when I realized that there was a lot of people dealing with trauma and uh, unfortunately uh, in, in our culture, we, we are not necessarily known to go openly to, to talk to someone, to see therapists. I think I just read something the other day on CNN that only 40, well, 41% of the men in our, our uh, black men in, in our country, they don't see counseling. So hurt people, hurt people, healed people, healed mm -hmm. people. So I knew that there was a, uh, an opportunity to to try to reach people in a very unconventional way. And that's what we do at Ungun Institute to help um, individuals disarm trauma. And it is um, amazing. It's a phenomenon. We are helping so many people all around the globe. And I'm just excited about its growth. But mainly, I'm excited about the opportunity of helping people uh, gain their joy again and gain mm -hmm. some hope. And that's and saving lives, it, just to be quite honest. Uh, when you can reach someone in the, in, in the midst of their storm and you give them them shelter and hope, you're really doing something, I believe, uh, that is life changing. So that's ungodly. Well, you know what? <laughs> well, you know what, Dr. Marty, I, I think that you are definitely in your element and you are in your time. We have some things cooking. We'll tell people a little later about we can't talk about right now. But I want to just say uh, that Dr. Marty actually went to the Senate a few weeks ago. Um, and spoke about her program with Ungun and to the to the to the nation and to the world. So she is stepping into her moment. I mean, talk about a startup just skyrocketing. I mean, when you go to the Senate, you know you've made it as a brand. <laughs> I mean, wow. I mean wow. there's really wow. no many, you know, there's not a lot of measures of success, so to speak, you know, you but you know you've you know what Forbes cover, going to the Senate, you know, making the 30 over the 30 list. I mean, maybe that first big check. I don't know, but <laughs> wow. Just, and we we're going to get into that, but I want to also introduce our other guest here. Um, Erica Arnett is here from Blue Diamond Transporting Services. Erica, how's it going? Oh, we don't we, have audio we, on Erica. <laughs> let's see. Hit we the audio button there, dear. Hi, everything's going great. Hi. Well, Erica, nice to have you here. And see you again. Um, Erica joined us uh, with Dr. Marty at a gifting suite. Uh, I think it was last year. And it was so good to see your face. Why don't you introduce um, your brand? Tell people about this trucking company. So I'm an owner operator of Blue Diamond Transporting Service. We, we are um, minority owned, woman owned trucking business. And alongside with Dr. Marty, we have um, discovered that there is um i'll say trauma in this industry that um mm. needs to be addressed so along with dr marty we plan to address the trauma and um go forward with the women in trucking who would possibly like to share their journey on the hurdles that they've had in the trucking industry wow guys it's like you you know you, you hit one that's just gone to the senate and is a winner and then you, you meet the friends, but you know what they say, and you're a winner as well. So you've got two here. Yes. Um, they say you really are who you hang around with. And so mm -hmm. I know that to be true when I'm speaking to you wow. ladies, 
Yeah. And when you go to the next level, see who you're with. And um, they're going to come with, you know, because <laughs> you're rising to the you're rising to the top. Right, Dr. Marty? Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm going to say, Monique, is yes. right. Because the, you are right on target with a conversation that we had a little bit earlier as if you were on a three-way or something. Yes. Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> this well, could not have come know? at a better time. Yes. <laughs> oh, really? So, yes. you know, um, and so, you know, I think people don't really get that, like, what Erica does for everybody in this country is affected by the supply chain. Whether or not you want to admit it, you really are, you know, and, and whether it hits your pocket or your deliverables are later or you're paying more for those deliverers, deliverables or you can't get them. You know, we saw it with the um, I saw it right here, literally right literally in my backyard here were the container ships. They were stuck yes. here for a while. Um, yeah. So, Erica, t t let's dive into this a little bit because women in trucking is kind of a, you know, we got ice truckers and yes. long haul truckers, but we don't have women truckers. So I'm excited to explore this, although there is trauma. Give us some of the uh, ins and outs of your business and being a female truck a company owner. So I'm a small fleet owner. Blue Diamond is a small fleet owner. We um, haul general freight, freight around the 48 states. And our trucks, like you said, we keep trucks keep the United States moving. We mm -hmm. if we have problems with um, getting to the containers or whatever it is, um, so everything comes in plane, train, automobile, but it has to get to its destination by truck. If it comes on a train, a truck gets it from the train to the destination. And we're just talking about the stores that you go to, so. Even the empty yeah. shelves that you see, it, it all trickles down. And yeah. um, the, the trucking industry, you know, is the backbone of the country and has been around for a long time. But until I tap into it as a woman trucker, it's, mm. a, it's a different side of it. Women well, are, you know what? And, mm -hmm. women Sorry, go are, ahead. Um, tapping into so many different industries now. Now, I haven't been in it that long, but I assume that the women are... Um, prior to me had probably just as much um, vision on where they wanted to go with it. It's a male dominated industry, but the mm. way that we come in and come strong, I think that it will be parallel to them pretty soon. I'm loving this. I'm seeing like, if you haven't done it already, like um, a calendar with the lady truckers on it, mm -hmm. I'm seeing merch. I've yes. got visions of, of lollipops dancing in my head or whatever. The yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Got it for you. But we don't want to give away too much right now because we are working behind the scenes with these two young, these two young ladies on some amazing things. But um, Erica, just give me something um, as far as the gas prices as a startup. Well, you're not a startup. You're, you're medium-sized to full-size business, right? Yes, medium-sized business. Um, and gas, the, the gas prices do take a chunk out of your... Um, um, your bottom line your bottom yeah. line of trucking so there's kind of some yeah. dynamics to it like you you get the load you you either get it from the larger companies or how you bid on the load so your gas prices has a lot to do with it we um yeah. it's 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 kind of almost like our hands are tied there's really no way around it the fuel is what makes the truck go so without fuel yeah. the truck can't go so we our yeah. hands are tied with it. It's, it's really nothing we can do about the fuel part of it, but we can in the um, industry just make up for it in different ways. You can, mm -hmm. you, you know where to run your truck or, you know, um, heavier loads, use more fuel. You may only want to okay. do short runs. It, there are ways that you can um, work around it, but the fuel prices definitely is the bulk of our overhead. Maybe somebody will come up with a hybrid truck. I mean, or a, yes. I mean, <laughs> hey, Tesla, are you listening? You know, yes, I, I, I believe that is in the making. I believe that is in the making. That has to be right. I, I'm surprised it's not here already. Exactly. Well, um, one last question for just this moment with Erica. We're going to go back to Dr. Marty. Erica, when you were younger, what about transportation was prominent in your life? Were you always in? You know, always riding shotgun with the parent. Did you did you have um? Because I have an obsession with trains. Like I have a yes. something about trains that I love. But tell me, 
What about your childhood in, in transportation for you? So not so much my childhood with transportation, but definitely as a young adult, I've been fascinated with trucks. So mm -hmm. just noticing them on the road, I like to see the flatbed trucks with all the different size equipment yeah. on the back and things like that. And if you just notice, even just riding in your car, there's just as many trucks on the road as cars. You take a look at yeah. the truck next to you. It's a mystery what's inside that truck. Nice. Do you ever play that game? Like what's in that truck? I mean, the sign <laughs> usually gives it away. Yes. <laughs> Yes, it just, to get I away. mean, inside those containers is it, it can be anything. You know what I mean? Yeah, it, it could be life saving keeps, stuff. Exactly. It, it, it keeps the United States going. Well, I think that it's really important for people to see who exactly is behind this. I mean, we had a conversation offline about the railroad and after the Civil War, um, the railroad being built by minorities and, and Native Americans and Asians, and it kept the that kept our country going when it was divided. Yes. And it's kind of come full circle that now our country's a bit divided on a few things and the transportation company, you know, industry is keeping us together for goods and services. So yes. hats off, you know, it's kind yeah. of a just repeating itself. Mm -hmm. It is, it definitely is. And just with the technology now and us moving yeah. forward, we can only win with it. I like that attitude. And so Dr. Marty, tell us, more about what you've been up to. I mean, how has it been coming from the Senate, darling? You've come down to speak to us peasants <laughs> down here. Uh, you know, I mean, you know, you gotta take You're a so break from eating grapes, right? <laughs> you, you are so hilarious. It's been it's been wonderful, but you know, I I just picked up on the the um, the phrase that you just used, goods and services. And when I think hmm. about what we're doing with Ungun Institute, that's exactly what we're doing. We're trying to really tap into the good of individuals by providing a service that will oh. help them to tap into. Uh, for the whole rest of their lives. Um, the, the tools and techniques that we use at Ungun Institute, it's not just something uh, one, one and done. It's it's a forever. It's a lifestyle change. It's taking on um, a, a, a different way of living and speaking and showing up so that we can keep the good stuff good. And so speaking of Senate, uh, the, you know, one of my greatest mentors uh, truly uh, was a uh, Congressman John Lewis and Congress yes. just posted something the other day where I uh, got an opportunity to uh, show Congressman John Lewis around in our city in St. Louis after Ferguson. I actually took him to the very place where everything had happened. And one of the things yes. that he said to me, he said, and we know that he's known for getting into good trouble, right? There's that word good again. But one of the things he said to me, he says, I want you, dear, to take this baton. And I want you to carry it across the finish line. And in that moment, when he said that to me uh, some years back now, I didn't know what to do with that. I wasn't necessarily, you know, doing Ungun Institute. I've been doing uh, the tools and techniques of Ungun for a long time, but it didn't form and turn into a business until a few years ago. But uh, mm. so in that moment, when he said that to me, I didn't know what that meant. But when I was at the at the at, in in the Senate, um, when I was in D.C. the other week, I had I I remembered what he said to me, and I was like, "Wow, here I am!" And I pray that this is the finish line. I pray that this will open up a door of opportunity um, that will allow us to continue to show up and be a voice to the voiceless. And here. Um, I was in my basement going through some things and I found just a few days ago an actual autograph that he signed to me on what I was doing at that particular time with my nonprofit. And mm -hmm. uh, he said, keep the faith. And mm -hmm. so even wow. if we haven't reached the finish line right now, we will keep the faith. Eric and I, and, and along with you, Monique, and what we're doing as women coming together as entrepreneurs, creating not just what we've been talking about behind the scenes, but even I believe some things that's going to come up that hasn't even been uh, discussed yet. We will keep the faith and we will make, we will make good on the good and services. Yes. Wow. You know what? And there's, there's another t-shirt. We've got a merch. Who's writing this down? We've got merch ideas over here, ladies. I mean, you should see, by the, listen, by the way, you should see my lists. Every day I make a new post-it list. I mean, it, the, and then you just, it's too much. It's just too much good stuff coming in. And uh, I need to put my brain on ice sometimes, but 
Yes, I, I'm loving everything you're saying. And it's interesting that I saw your post and the timeliness of that after just returning from the Senate. I don't think we gave the viewers and listeners um, the context of why you were at the Senate. So Dr. Marty, why don't you tell them what you were doing there and how it turned out? Well, let me just let me make this real uh, short and sweet, if you will. Ungun Institute, if you look at what we do, we we actually communicate on a range and that range can be from gun violence all the way to self-love. It is our goal as a company to keep people in the green, which is on self-love. When you're in the red, you you um you can run the risk of of gun violence or or even uh, violence um, harm against someone else or even yourself when we look at the rate of suicide. So we really try to focus on the positive and keep individuals in the green. So a lot of times when there's any type of talk around gun violence uh, on Gun Institute, we even have the word gun, if you will, in our in the title. But as yeah. we we're not focusing on firearms as much, but we're focusing on the result of how if a firearm arm is misused and when individuals are hurting and how we can get out in front of these things in advance. So Ungun Institute was called upon and was given an opportunity to go to speak on the Senate floor about the um, the, the the gun law that was actually just passed and landed on the president's uh, desk. So we know what happened also that day. And I think we was a little overshadowed by, you know, um, a, a Roe versus, versus Wade. However, um, we know that what we were there for was just as important. And it is. And so with that being said, I was happy to know that something that I said, along with so many other individuals who deserve that spotlight and an opportunity to speak collectively, we were able to speak our truth and get the ear of the Senate and make them move on it in a positive way. You know, and it was kind of interesting. I was overseas for the pandemic film on the last leg and the 24-7 filibuster is what this event that Dr. Marty was at um, came up. And right away, when I heard what it was, your brand popped to my head. I'm like, if she's not there. And what's interesting, it was supposed to be just via Zoom or something. And you felt inclined to jump on a plane. And you jumped on a plane and you made it there. And, you know, we 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 always want, when you when you have someone do something, you always want them to show up. You didn't just show up, you showed out. I mean, you really mm -hmm. went above and beyond. Yeah. And um, that's that's just a really great, I just, I can't think of anything more perfectly that came together this year than that. So I know Thank that that was a, <laughs> you're welcome. I think it was a, a milestone for you, right? It was, and I and I am so grateful for you, Monique, because again, when you take on um, brand ambassadors, if you will, you know, you 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 become like that that mentor to us and showing us how to be ready in those moments. That's what your show is all about. And, and the other things that uh, we come together with behind the scenes that other people may not ever see or, or hear about. That's really who you are. And that says a lot about your leadership and how you're helping uh, brands build. And I'm so grateful for you for that. But that piece of just being ready to jump on an airplane, I have to be honest and she doesn't even know I'm about to say this. I actually get that from Erica. Erica, when I call Erica in a moment's time and say, Erica, I'm on my way to New York. This is what we're doing. I'm getting ready to go to LA. This is what I'm doing. I'm, I'm coming in into Texas. She's like, okay, I'll meet you there. She's on an airplane. She stays ready. She yeah, stays she ready. Stays Stays ready. We can't I get love. ready. We don't have time to get ready, ladies. We Stay have ready. to already be ready. And that's who she is. That's how she shows up. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what? Monique called on me for this opportunity. Let me yeah. do the same thing that I know Erica would do. Let me jump on this plane. Let's show up in person and let's be yes. big about it. Yes. And that, show, and that shows. Well, that shows your brand, right? Because like for you to, it, you're taking it that serious that like you are going to be there physically because it, the, the message is delivered much better. And I think it is time, we are in an endemic, it's time to move out of the video a little bit. Even though my show is right on video, um, they, these things are just too precious to, to not show up. So I love that you're in my network and I love that when called upon, you take it above and beyond, you know? Because a lot of people just sit in their pajamas, but Dr. Dr. Marty wasn't having it. So <laughs> I love that. Um, Erica, you are, sitting on ready. I think, you know, we had a conversation as well about what is it when you have opportunity and, prep, and you're prepared, that's when you have a successful moment. 
Can you think back, Erica, into a time in your brand where you were prepared and then an opportunity showed up and then it was magic for you? Yes. Well, one great opportunity is when I um, initially met you when um, Dr. Marty and I came out (laughs) and I had no idea what I was in store for. I had her speak on it and tell me this, how great of an opportunity it would be. So just um, having the opportunity to meet you and be in that space did take Uh my, um, it, 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 to me, my brand, um, trucking. Yes. Um, hauling general freight. Yes. But it made me think about my brand more. I never really considered my brand until I started to have more and more conversations with you two. And I'm like, okay, I need to be more concerned with my brand versus, um, and it's just kind of still my personality, always looking yeah. out for everybody else, but not always looking out for myself. So mm-hmm. although I created this brand, I'm so um, in tune with what my trucks are doing and, and how important it is for my trucks to move freight. I never really thought about my brand. My br- I, I represent this brand. So whenever right. these trucks are out here moving, I still need to be able to say, hey, I need to be proud of my brand, just not with what's inside of the truck, but what's on the outside of the truck. Yeah. I mean, Who, I'm, and I'm, it's not just the freight, it's who's hauling it. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, so it's not just pre- for, precious freight inside, it's precious freight hauling it. Exactly. So, mm-hmm. Exactly. I love that. I mean, we don't always get the <laughs> opportunity to do that as women. We don't always get to show up and be our authentic selves, especially mm. with our brands. I think we're, we are uh, probably accustomed to, um, just filling in other spots that we don't get to represent what really means something to us. We're in the motion and we're doing it, but I have to be proud of my brand as well. That's <laughs> awesome. I And by the way, listeners and viewers, I didn't pay them to, to give me these compliments, but I'm loving them and I'll take them where I can get them. <laughs> but you know, it's, I think it's kind of like when you said, or I always use this um, when you're on the plane, they would say, put your mask on first, then you can help others. And as women, a lot of times it's kind of ingrained. I don't know if it's a social thing or genetically, that's the way we are, but we want to nurture and take care of everybody else. But if I don't put my mask on first, how can I help anybody else? And your brand being at its maximum um, and performing and making you money while you're sleeping, that's taking care of you. I mean, it, it depends on what your, your business, you know, plan is, but, they say now, and it used to be seven income streams. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you ladies heard this. It's eight income streams now. Oh, if you really want to be financially independent, right? So if you look, if you look at that umbrella, ungun, blue diamond transporting services. Yes. All right, your merch, uh, your your actual bread and butter, your goods and services, and then you can branch off from there. You know, yes. I mean, you could be selling trucker hats and exactly. water bottles and you i'm not gonna drink out of 7-elevens one shout out i'll be drinking yeah. out of my water bottle with exactly. my brand. Exactly. you know so we it's, have to think about these things it's yeah. interesting that you keep bringing up the word merch and i don't want to get you know very off to the left here but that was a conversation that we had earlier i'm in a video that's going viral and what? uh Oh, yes. I was at the Pride Parade uh, supporting my (laughs) daughter, who's engaged to a beautiful woman. And uh, I was at the Pride Parade. And in the moment of my joy and happiness, I went into the splits. And I'm like, (laughs) oh, my God. So someone posted this up. This video is now going viral. It's over, over, I think, almost 600,000 views right now. What? And so we're like, okay, we need some merch. Yeah, I'm gonna have to send it to you. So I'm like, we need some merchandise to go along with this or what have you. So off the top of your head, because you deal with brands all the time. Here's this video of me telling people stay in your happy place and your joy and and support your children right where they are. I have one job. My job is to love my child unconditionally. And that's my message Mm. about why I went into the splits. What piece of merchandise would you suggest that we uh, put out there uh, publicly that could could um, help others to join in on that movement. Gotta be a gotta be a hula hoop. It's an ungun hula hoop. A hula hoop. Oh my goodness! That's <laughs> why I love it. An ungun hula hoop. A jump rope. Uh, the, what, what is the Chinese uh jump jumping? I don't know what they used to call it, but you know, there's so many fun things you can do. A stress ball. 
a frisbee, a volleyball, a basketball. I mean, okay. you know, I mean, a, a little horn. I mean, you can have a good old time with ungun, you know. Okay. <laughs> ungun yes. the fun. You need to ungun, ungun the fun. The fun. Yes. Ungun for fun. Ungun you got to play with that. Ungun to get to the fun. I don't know. Yes, ungun for fun. <laughs> I love it. That's what you know. So I just wanted to pick your brain in the moment. I know yes. you're always the one interviewing, but I thought I'd flip it around today. Do it. Do it. Whatever. I'm all ready for that. Um. I think you, you know, Dr. Marty, you're hitting on something really great when you're in that joyous moment. And of course, you're going to go viral in that moment. I hope that I can get to this video before you hit a million. I'd like to contribute to that number. You're probably going to get to a million by, by tomorrow. Yes. Or the next. Definitely. You think so too, right? It's, Aaron? it's really moving. Yes. It's trucking. Yes. <laughs> it's trucking on the net. And, did you, hopefully, and, and you should have an ungun shirt next time. So, okay. Here's okay. another thing. We, Here's another thing I say now. I really, you know, I don't, I like, you know, I'm a girl. I mean, I, I like nice stuff, but I'm really not wearing anybody else's brands unless it's mine. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing the wine caterers hat. I'm wearing, um, you know, once I get the startup with Monique Lorray merch, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not really, and, and if it is, it's, you know, mixed. So there'll always be something of mine I'm wanting my tote bag for my groceries at the grocery store is the wine caterers bag. Yes. Like, why would I advertise for anybody else but my brand? Yes, I have definitely started. Unless I have I'm getting paid. Incorporated it. Wow. Yes. Monique. Unless are... I'm getting paid to do it. Yes. I know we pay Gucci to wear them, but you know what? When you're a startup, you need to pay yourself to wear yours. Yes. Shout out to Gucci and everything. Yes. But, you know, I don't know. That's just a thought I had to, just since we're talking about merchants. Again, that's a part of the eight income stream. And that's the income stream that could be paying you. Um, talk to me about future stuff. We have about nine minutes left. Talk to us about your brands and the future and what you're looking forward to. Go ahead, Erica. Well, per, um, Dr. Morty and I, we are brainstorming day, night. I mean, we can call each other in the middle of the night or send a text and our minds are always going but the merchandise mm -hmm. thing definitely we, we we are jumping on board with that and not only that we have um taken it amongst ourselves to um kind of hold each other's hand through this if my mm -hmm. name is on the front her name is going to be on the back it's anytime mm -hmm. you have something on you don't know what eyes are being laid on you, you know you your brand is everything your brand is everything. everything. And you know, I, I really love that. And I, just on a side note, because you know, these ideas come in, mm -hmm. so we'll get a pin ready. Mm -hmm. And um, so when, when you do drop off your freight, Erica, yeah. what could be really fun and different, and I've never seen this really, mm -hmm. maybe Amazon does it, but I don't know, you get your TikTok going and you have some of your, your lady drivers walk out as they deliver and say, hey, can I take a picture with you? And of course they're dripping in all your gear and they're yeah. doing a fun little TikTok with the customer. That shows yes. something and that gives engagement yeah. for your brand. And it's yes. a different thing that you won't see. And I think that showing that female truck drivers are approachable and nice and are happy to be out here could be different. And you might get a Very little true. different energy around it too. Just I believe so. With the um, a couple of my trucks, I have women drivers, and it's always a different conversation when they pull up to the dock, and it's a mm. it's a five foot two, one hundred and fifteen pound woman, and she pull up on the dock, and like I'm here to pick up this load. I mean, it's it's amazing just to see. A lot of times, if I'm communicating with them at the time, just to see the reaction of people like. Um, who's who who is with you? You know, like like she's not enough to get the truck. But I agree. Oh, well, they did that to my Gigi. I had a, a, a my great grand help mm -hmm. build some of the planes back in one of the wars. Okay. Women you remember the we can do it? Yes. Uh Rose the Riveter. Yes. They used to question women building airplane parts back they did. then. So I mean Dr. Marty, what do you got coming up that you well, want to share? I have a lot of things coming up. The One of the main things with Ungun, we do a lot of workshops. So mm -hmm. we're going to be working with some, uh, some really uh, prestigious companies. Uh, I actually 
um, just I will be entering into a really, really big meeting next week with a major company that everybody knows if I threw out the name. So I'm just wow. asking everybody right now to just kind of send me some good energy. Yes. And let's, yeah. let's make it happen because what Erica said is so true. If like she said, if she's on the front, I'm on the back. Well, that works both ways. If if mm -hmm. if I'm on the front, she's on the back. We have to be willing to to run into the run this race together. And that's what mm -hmm. we are doing as women. So a lot of great things coming up. I'm excited about it. Ungun truly is growing leaps and bounds. I don't take that lightly, uh, mm -hmm. but I know that you can't do it alone. But this, I also know you got to be very selective of who you do it with. Yes. Oh, yeah. Very selective. Yes. And you have to have like minds and you have to have people that are, are, um, are confident in who they are and where they are in business and where they are in life. Uh, because if you get someone who's, you know, treading that water a little differently, swimming, uh, mm -hmm. you know, in a di in a different um, position than how you're swimming, you both can yeah. drown. And so, I love the fact that that um, if you will, Eric and I, we're in a synchronized swimming, exactly. uh, you know, position right now in the water together. And and I I just love what we're able to do together. I love to hear it. I'm here for all of it. Um, you know, and I think that's absolutely right. You know, and your brand. And you and your energy is not for everybody. And you're not, and they're not, everybody's not for you. And I think being okay with that and just finding your tribe, as my one of my best friends would say, she's like, Mo, you just have to find your tribe. You have to find yeah. your personal life and your business life tribe and yeah. whatever, anything else you're doing tribe. So, and those are those people that you go to that you can depend on and they can depend on you and you know how you're going to show up for each other. There's no. True. Mm-hmm craziness happening there's good communication i'm big on communication you know let me know what i'm dealing with here <laughs> i can handle the truth that's just you know so that's that's, that's that's right that's it um so let's give your, your your handles and your websites so people can find you ladies and follow you if they're not already and support your your brand erica why don't you give us your handles and where we can find you yep i am on um, I'm blue trucking everything. So on Facebook, I'm blue diamond transporting service on Instagram. I am blue underscore diamond underscore transporting. And I'm also blue diamond transporting.com. I love it. And Erica is, I, can, I think I can say this. We're, we're talking about you doing some things with, with myself out here and expanding your reach with your yes. services and other markets. So, I just want to put this out there. Anybody that wants to support, want to put their their mouth, their talk where their money where their mouth is, and they want to support a female owned business, um, Erica is looking to expand out west, yes. including Las Vegas, California. Well, I'll let you speak for yourself. Las Vegas, California, where else? Nevada, California. Yes. Definitely West. I would like to capitalize on going West. And when we talked about Las Vegas, we just got into some different things. I know women out there are doing their thing and i would like to um at least um connect with women who may have a winery let's just say yeah. or yeah. um a boutique you all need um preferred um forms of delivery for your um for your own business that's right and, and we all need to be the first yeah mm -hmm. Don't yes, you just yeah. love the name? <laughs> the name is so classy, Blue Diamond. Blue Diamond. Isn't that classy? I love it. I love it. And we're going to have, um, we're going to be looking at the logo here soon. And I'll be sharing that with you guys here in a few weeks. Dr. Marty, where can people find you? So I'm everywhere. Uh, uh, Twitter, <laughs> Instagram, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn. You can find me as Dr. Marty K. Casey or Marty K. Casey. Um, it's Marty underscore K underscore Casey for Instagram or Marty Casey. You can find me if you're really looking for me, but I do say to everybody, please, please, please don't forget that K in the middle. That middle initial is important. There's another fantastic person out there in this world named Marty Casey, but he's a rock star. He's great, <laughs> but he's not me. I'm a rock star in a different kind of way. Yeah, so, so in order to, 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 you know, to know the difference between the two, put that K there, Marty K Casey will get you to me somehow. 
and uh, send me a message. Let me know what it is you're dealing with, what you're going through. If you need a workshop to happen on your job or maybe yes. even in your church or um, it may even in your family, it doesn't matter. We do um, we do one on ones on Zoom and we do workshops on Zoom. We can do in person. Whatever it is, we tell or make it to your needs, because mm -hmm. the one thing that I don't want is for any barriers to be in the way of how you need to get your healing. So we make the adjustment on our end so that you can just focus on you. I love it. She's available for corporate and everything else, guys. It's been a pleasure. Got to go. What will you start up today? We'll see you next week. Bye, ladies. Bye. Okay, bye. You're listening to The Startup with Monique LeRae, only on LA Talk Radio.